Welcome to Zoidy. In this short video, I'm going to give you an overview of the Zoidy desktop and mobile app. Let's get started. When you log into the system, you're taken to the dashboard, which gives a 10,000 foot view of your maintenance operations. You can see key maintenance metrics like overdue work orders, closed work orders, and planned maintenance compliance. Forget trawling through pages of work orders to see what's been done. Click the notifications icon on the top right hand side to see the latest important updates from the team. Let's navigate to the work order screen to see a list of open work orders. Update notifications in Zoidy are opt in, so you don't get overwhelmed with unimportant notifications in your inbox. Simply bookmark those work orders you want to track and get updated on. Use the filters to drill down and show just the work orders you need. Let's say you only want to see high or urgent priority work orders. Toggle to the Kanban view to see the work orders in their swim lanes. Drag and drop to quickly assign work orders to the team. When a user is assigned a work order, Zoidy automatically sends out a notification informing the user of the new assignment. Click into a work order record to complete the job. Toggle the work order status to start the work. In the Tasks tab, you can close off the tasks with a few clicks of the mouse. Zoidy can be configured with tasks and subtasks. Let's start with engine checks. Verified power steering fluid. Check coolant levels, and they were good. Inspected the air filter, but it was in bad shape, so let's fail this task, but address the issue now. Add a comment and click Save. Top up engine oil, inspected the brakes and they should be replaced. However, stores don't have the part in stock, so it can't be completed today. Fail this task and add to a follow on work order. When the work order is closed, this fail will be added to one single follow on work order. The next task is a meter type task. Record the mileage and click Save. Continue until all tasks are done. Zoidy utilizes the traffic light system, green for pass, orange for corrected, and red for fail. In this case, there are two failed tasks. We replaced an air filter, so select the parts tab to add that air filter to this work order. Find air filter on the list, add the quantity used, and click save. In the details tab, you can see the work order timeline. The timeline feed shows the key updates to the work order in chronological order, such as parts used or tasks closed off. You can even add additional comments or files to the feed if needed. Hit the status dropdown to close the work order. Add in hours logged and the job is done. It's as simple as that. Back in the work order list, a follow on work order has been created and the failed tasks are visible in the work order tasks tab. Creating new work orders is a cinch. Click the add new icon in the top navigation bar and select add new work order. Select the asset from the list and add as much detail as needed to ensure the issue is captured in the system. And click quick save when done. Users outside of the group can log work requests to the system using the unique work request link. When they enter the guest portal, they can add a new work request. When they select the asset from the list, the system shows the guest user a list of known issues on the asset. Guest users can also check the status of their existing work requests. The mobile app is web-based, so no download from the App Store is needed. When the technician logs into the work order screen, they can filter the work order list as needed. Click to open a work order. Toggle the work order status to start the work. Open the tasks tab to sign off the tasks, just like on the web app. In the updates tab, click the add icon to add a note or an image. Select an image to take a pre or post repair photo. Just like the web app, the technician can also add labor or files or parts to the work order. 
toggle the work order to done when complete and log hours spent. Print QR codes and tag your assets. The technician can then scan the asset code to open the asset record and quickly see any open work. They can also see recent activity on the asset in the logbook, view meter reading history, see installed parts, view linked files, or simply set the asset offline. In the parts module, technicians can search parts, see parts storage locations and current inventory levels. Parts and inventory folk can also complete stock counts on mobile. Finally, guest users can also access the guest portal on mobile by either using the unique guest request link or by scanning the asset QR code. Let's go back to the web app. In the asset record, technicians can view the asset logbook or search for any key events such as task fails, parts used and downtime events. See any open work orders, view recent meter readings or click through to see a full meter reading history on the asset. Access any important files like manual schematics or wiring diagrams, view parts installed on this asset or review recent asset downtime. In the parts record, see the parts on hand in each storage location. Never run out of parts again. If the part breaches its minimum required level and we are low on stock, Zoidy will send you a notification so that you can start the reordering process on time and avoid a stock out. Implementing Zoidy is a breeze. When signing into Zoidy for the first time, administrators are walked through the implementation process through the setup guide. Each step has a two to three minute tutorial that walks through the specific setup for that module. And if that didn't make it simple and easy, when setting up key features like PMs, you are walked through the process one step at a time. For example, in step three of the PM setup, the user is prompted to configure the PM triggers, time-based, every three months on a floating schedule starting March 1st. How easy is that? And that's it. That is our product demo. Zoidy is the easiest way to ditch the paper work orders, complex spreadsheets, or outdated CMMS systems. So why not sign up for a free trial today? Thanks for watching.